Listen, why are you here? Why do you want to find four leaf clovers? It's not to get farther in your career. It's not to get really rich. Maybe it's to give somebody a nice gift or find true love and I think that's a really nice reason. But my point is that you're not here to just have an end goal. You're here to find a four leaf clover maybe and have a nice time. I wanna help you find four leaf clovers, I really do. There's a couple things that you kind of have to take into consideration before you really look for them and that's, do you have some time? Do you have the time and the patience to look for them? Because they're hard to find and lots of people give up right away. To be honest, it, there isn't really a point to looking for four-leaf clovers if you're just looking for four-leaf clovers. I mean, you just want to find them right away. Three-leaf clovers are very beautiful. Let's just take a moment to be like, heckin' yeah. Three-leaf clovers are beautiful and they're fine and they're doing a great job and we should all commemorate them too. You know there's two leaf clovers and five leaf clovers too. You gotta pack a snack. Don't tell me you're not gonna pack a snack and leave early. I mean you can do whatever you like. I really don't want to pressure you but packing a snack and packing some water can help you stay there for longer and feel more comfy. Good luck hunting. Rule number two, don't be vain, okay? Some herds, some little groups of clovers are scrunchy and they're like little bitten out and you know, animals have eaten a little bit of it. Don't be vain. You can still look at that herd. They're not garbage. This is a good example of a scrunchy herd. You see, like they're not stereotypically beautiful clovers because the leaves are kind of like folded in. The blah, 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 this one has a little bite. That's fine. Love them, okay? Hmm, interesting. These don't have any markings on the inside. Fascinating. Oh yeah, this is a premium herd. I like it when they have the flowers on them. Mm-hmm. Mm. First four leaf, but she's injured. Look, one, two, three, four. She's injured though. Uh, I'm sorry, but we did it. We found it. Nice meeting you. Let's bro out for a second. One of the first four leaf clovers I found, I pressed it, I laminated it, and I gave it to my crush. And now me and my crush are dating. Yeah. Just think about that. Just think about what the clover can do for you. Beautiful markings. Wow, you are some beauties. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how to dress cool for clover hunting because there's like a specific look that really works. Here is my custom camouflage outfit, which helps me hide from the clovers. I've packed a water bottle that's shaped like a beautiful tree, um, glub glub glub, very important to stay hydrated. Next I packed a book, Game of Thrones, I love you Game of Thrones. It's important to bring a book because you're going to have to press the four leaf clovers that you find. If you don't, they're going to get wilted. I did also bring my favorite dress that I go four leaf clover hunting in. It just helps you feel in the mood and, uh, you know, slinky. You're searching. Shh. It's very important that you don't lose HP points just from the mere fact of being disappointed that you didn't find anything. That often happens to me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna show my friends how to find four leaf clovers and I don't. Or I make a video and I don't find anything and I feel disappointed and I can't keep searching, but that's just, that's just silly. This is for you, nobody else. So you did a good job. Appreciate the different species. There's a lot of different species of clovers. Yeah, there's a lot. I could name them. Maybe I'll name them later. You're on a mission and you're just hunting treasure. 
And that means you're hunting like gold, so why would you not know the different kinds of coins? Know them. Figure them out. Another one. Another one. This is a little, little small one. Yeah, too small. Four. Four.